I know it's hard to tell right now. <laughs> but this is where my lean-to is going to be. Getting ready to start on the laying out the posts. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll start putting the posts in. See what happens. I'm going to, on each corner, it's going to be, I'm thinking it's going to be 10 foot. About 28 foot. The building is 28 feet long. Um, I'm really gonna really finalize the size of it when I start thinking about my wood that I'm gonna buy. That is extremely high right now. <laughs> um, on each corner, I'm gonna have six by six posts. I know it's not probably totally necessary because it's just a lean-to, but what I'm going to do on each corner is notch out for my 2x6 to sit on. I'm going to have 2x6 frame and just use 2 befores for the roof and metal on the roof. Pretty basic, but with the length of it, I think we're going to put a 4x4 post in the center of it. Just had that 2 by 6 shit on a 4x4 four four post because it's 28 foot long, pretty long. We don't get real huge snow winters here, but there's not going to be a whole lot of slope. Uh, there'll be slope on it, but I don't want a dramatic slope on it because I want to better get my equipment in and out. Uh, so, comfortably. Uh, so, that's the plan right now. We'll just... Uh, as everything else, it's always optional to change your plan. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, now you gotta keep in mind here, I'm just laying out for my post holes, laying out the center. So I'm hoping to dig my holes big enough to where I, I got a little play, but these six by six posts, that are six by six by uh, yeah, 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 10 feet long, 12 feet long. I think they're 12 foot long, they're heavy. I, I picked one up when we unloaded it and I don't want to pick them up again. <laughs> Hopefully I can use my tractor to, to set the post. Uh, but anyway, so I've got the four corners, the, the four six by six posts laid out. Uh, so now I'm gonna pull a string in between the two ends to get my center post, which I'm planning on just using a four by four for that. Um, I went back and forth on whether to put the post in there because I'm gonna be bringing my, my tractor or lawnmower or whatever in from this way to load and unload stuff. So, but I've got to put one in there because 20, it's, it's gonna be 20, uh, I'm not gonna make it 28 feet. I'm gonna make it 24 feet so I can put two 12 by 12s in there and I'll put that post right where those 12 by 12s meet. So, uh, so I really need to have it. I don't need the second post this way though. It'll be fine. So that's where I'm at right now. Alrighty. 
I got all my stakes laid out. Uh, I'm gonna get me some paint so I can get my center lines on it so when I start digging, I don't get out of whack. I figured I'd go ahead right now. Um, I guess you can, I'm burning my logs. It's a process, <laughs> process I saw on the, on the old the YouTube. Um, some kind of ancient, uh, it's either Chinese or Japanese uh, way they would seal their wood. They char it uh, and it supposedly stops the aging process and makes it to where it will not rot. I don't know. But I'm going to try it anyway. I won't be around anymore. I'll be home with the Lord before this <laughs> rots anyway. But it's not that difficult to do. I'm just, I've seen guys on the internet build fires and everything else. It's going to be almost 90 degrees here, I think, today, 80 something degrees. So I'm just using my torch. And hopefully that does the process enough. I don't know. If it doesn't, whatever. I'm giving the effort anyway. <laughs> My gas can here is the blue, which is the, the least hottest of the I can buy. They got yellow and they got red. This here, I just use in my line of work. We use it to heat up PVC pipe, so you don't want it real hot. So when I go to get my paint, I probably get a can of uh, at least the yellow, uh, maybe the red. See if that burns it a little bit better because these logs. Where the ones facing up, where they've been facing the sun, they're 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 uh, charring real easy. But uh, you flip them over to the size that haven't been in the sun, and it's taking a little bit longer. But uh, I don't have anything but time right now, <laughs> anyway. So. Okay, finally going to get started on the raising of the lean-to canopy, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to try using my backhoe to do the post out here, but I've got three posts going in close to the building here. Uh, I'm trying to get them to where they're gonna miss the roof coming down here. So they'll go up and be cl as close as I can get to it. And then when I when I put my two by six in, I'll slide it enough over to allow for that. Cause we're going 10 foot in between the posts and I'm gonna get 12 foot uh, two bys for the frame. And I'm going to use two befores for the top and then the metal roof. So I'm going to have to do these by hand. Hopefully, this is some hard ground. So I'm wanting to get them at least a foot and a half in the ground. I'd like to get two foot, <coughs> but I think a foot and a half will work. I'll find out. I got uh, six by six posts just for the corners these two in the center i'm going to use 
four by four posts. Um, I probably didn't need to use the six by six, but I'm wanting to notch where my two buys beat from here in the front. I'm wanting to notch it. And by the time I notched a four by four, there wouldn't be anything left. So that's why I'm doing that. So let's get started with the digging and see how far we get. <laughs> Okay, remarkably, this dirt, after I got down, I don't know, seven, eight inches, I mean, it was no problem at all. And when I, I right now I got my whole 26 inches. I'm gonna put some gravel in the bottom of it for my pole to sit on. And I'm planning on putting gravel all around it and tamping it down that uh, my dense grade gravel. I'm not gonna use concrete. Uh, dense grade gravel once I tamp it down and it gets moisture around it it'll, it'll harden up sufficient enough I know that's what Robin did up on the chicken coop and those are doing just fine so we should be all right so I'm gonna start measuring here and get ready to I'm gonna attempt to cut my poles before I put them in the ground I see what's how, how it's gonna come out um, I'm dealing with some different levels of ground the building is actually sitting level when you look at it with your with your eye it doesn't look like it's level but it is so i'm going to go by my roof line on my top measurement and uh see how this all comes out but today i'm just working on getting my post in the ground but i am going to attempt now to try to measure my first one and cut and notch it before i put it in the ground permanent i mean i can do it when it's in the air but it'll be a whole lot harder
right, this is the the next day. Uh, got really hot. Took a break. Extremely humid. It's humid right now. It's um, a little after eight o'clock in the morning. And I look when I came out, it's like 92% humidity right now. Uh, it's in the low 70s, which is good. So I figured I'd come out here. I want to try to at least get this pole set because there's 70% chance of rain. That's another thing. Yesterday while I was taking a break, it's t it had a rainstorm come through. And then by that time, I just, you know, I didn't want to mess with any more yesterday. So... Um, I'm gonna try to at least get this pole set today, but uh, when I notched out my my beam yesterday, my post, I had forgotten to cut it to length first. <laughs> so now I got to cut it off the bottom end, the length, and I'll have to take my torch and reburn this a little bit. I don't even really know if I need to because this is treated wood. I'm just trying to help make sure that. Uh, this is all still standing here, not rotting after me and my wife are gone home to be with the Lord. Uh, it'd still be here. And uh, and our daughter Misty can enjoy it. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Cut it just a wee crooked. <laughs> I think I need to uh, sharpen the chain on the old uh, electric chainsaw. Maybe tighten the blade up a little bit. Haven't used it for a while.
okay what I did is I took some of this dense grade this dense grade even though it's been at the bottom of the pile on the ground you know you don't want to put that on the driveway and have all the dirt mixed in with it I did it accidentally a few times but this is good we use it up on my chicken coop and I'm going to use it here I, think, I know I've already mentioned it but I put a couple inches down in the bottom of my hole I made my my hole a couple inches deeper than when I really wanted it and I'm just trying to keep the uh, pole from actually touching on the the dirt um, that way the water hopefully will drain through that in time I know once that sets up it's kind of like concrete but anyway just to help out a little bit and just like right now over a little bit further than I wanted it. I wanted it right on that. But it is what it is. Okay. I've got Okay, I've got it sitting the way I want it. Appears like it's square. Uh, I should have made my hole just a little bit bigger, but it'll work. Uh, I got enough room to get gravel down in there. It's going to be kind of tight on the back side of it. But like I said, once everything is set up, it'll, it'll be good. All right. I'm going to just now I've decided I'm going to put the post in here and I'm just going to level off of where I want the top of the post to be with the level I'll level across draw a line that'll tell me where I need to cut my post at even though it's putting them in and taking them back out it's it'll still be quicker in the long run
it is about break time. <laughs> um, just wanted to show you. I got the second post in. It looks like it might be just a touch out of square, but I don't think it's going to be enough to to hurt it. But I was, what I'm doing uh, after I'm putting this um, dense grade gravel in there, I'm kind of leaving a leave it sitting in like a little pocket. You know, the reason I'm doing that is uh, just let the weather play its course, and you know, let that'll trap some of the water. Hopefully it'll drain down in there, and over time, it will set up pretty good. Um, and then I'll eventually take these braces off. Um, Cause the next thing I'm gonna do is put this tube of twelve in between these, this post and that post, and then that ought to start sta start with the stabilization of it. And so that's where we're at.
it's a pretty good idea <laughs> but yeah my fear was it wouldn't be able to go high enough and I was right but uh, it still helped me out but what, what's hard is that long span being all the way on one side uh, trying to get the other side to go in there but I got it we'll see how that'll work next on the next one <laughs> maybe I can rig something up to where I can put it on my bucket to where I can get it up high enough or I just use a ladder but we'll see what happens next time maybe I can offset the tractor sun to one side and have my ladder see eventually I'm gonna be out here not leaning my ladder up so that's gonna be interesting also uh, <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do I guess <laughs> That'll do it for this video. Got uh, made pretty good progress this weekend, considering the weather. Uh, I'm really glad I got that tube of stitch up there. Uh, it didn't go as planned, but at least I did get it up there. Uh, so the goal by next weekend is to have this post I just started on that corner post done. And these are the bigger six by six posts. So I'm gonna, the hole's gonna be a little bit different than that first one. I'm gonna do a little bit wider, easier to get my back fill in there. And have those two posts in and then get that two by six over to here and two by six from here to there. Uh, I'll try to get some done during the week, but getting home around 6.30 to 7 o'clock at night. Uh, kind of puts a damper on getting anything done when I get home. But I do have uh, a four day weekend. Next weekend is July 4th weekend. So I'll, um, my normal week is 14 hour day. So I'm off on Friday. So I'll have Friday and Monday off. So um, we were talking about taking a break and going and doing something. But if we're home, I will work on this as much as I can. So, and Robin and Misty are up right now working on the chicken coop, uh, doing all the wiring. It's a long, tedious operation doing that. Um, but we were hoping to have it done this weekend, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be, but they get to work on it during the week some. So they should have that done this week sometime. So that'd be a good thing. So anyway, we're always keeping busy around here. Uh, first shakes is stopping by. If you haven't been here before, please uh, subscribe if you like it. And go back and check all the other videos out. And see you next time. God bless. Have a great day.